When it comes to developing new medications, the journey is easily just as important as the destination. Countless volunteers and medical professionals play a role along the way, all seeking to learn as much as possible in the hopes of potentially advancing treatment options for the future. This clinical trial journey is broken down into four phases, all being part of a well-designed and highly regulated process to help ensure participants are safe and data is accurate. These phases happen after a lot of lab work, scientific discovery, and early research. Each phase has its own guidelines, and at the end of each phase, a country or region's regulatory medical authorities will determine if the trial is permitted to move on to the next phase, or if more research is needed. Phase one trials generally consist of a small group of healthy volunteers. The goal during this phase is to gather information on the safety, dosing, and side effects of the investigational medication. Researchers examine how the medication interacts with the human body, including if there are any side effects as the dose increases. They also are trying to understand the best way to deliver the medication to limit risks. This information helps researchers design the next phase of the trial. Phase two trials consist of a larger group of volunteers. In this phase, the investigational medication is being evaluated for effectiveness and safety. Volunteers in phase two trials generally have the condition that the investigational medication is being developed to potentially treat. These trials involve multiple study groups or arms for comparison purposes. These arms may consist of volunteers taking different doses of the investigational medication and or a placebo, a non-active version of the investigational medication. This comparative data helps researchers understand if the investigational medication is doing the job it was designed to do. Phase two trials allow researchers to paint a clearer picture of the safety profile of the medication as it moves to the next phase. Phase three trials usually consist of an even larger group of volunteers than in previous phases. These volunteers will all have the condition being studied and the focus will be to learn even more about an investigational medication's effectiveness and safety given the larger group of participants. It is usually in this phase that the investigational medication is compared to any medications that are already approved to treat the condition, also known as standard of care. By the end of this phase, if there is enough data that shows that the investigational medication is safe and effective, or the benefits outweigh the risks, it will be submitted to regulatory agencies for review, and if approved, will be made available to the public. Phase four trials are what are known as real-world trials. After a medication is approved by the proper regulatory medical authorities and made available to the public, these trials collect data from volunteers who are taking the medication so that researchers can continue to track its effectiveness and potential side effects. Phase four trials are a good example of how the clinical research process puts safety first as they continue to monitor a medication long after the research stops in a controlled medical setting. Overall, the phases of clinical trials are critical to ensuring that all investigational medications are studied using the same regulatory process. Following this process helps ensure that participants are protected and that the data is sound as we seek to advance our understanding and treatment of conditions throughout the world.